Hello, my name is Kelsey and welcome to our 2023 Annapurna Interactive Showcase. We are so excited to be here and even more thrilled to show you what we have in store for this year. Over the next 30 minutes, we'll share our latest game reveals, spotlight two new developer partnerships, and give an exciting first look at the debut game from our internal development team. Once again, a huge thank you to our Annapurna community and partners across the globe for your continued support. Let's get started. I've been asked to approach you about a project related to events in 1847, 1963, 2014, and one happening in the very near future. At least two individuals in Europe are confirmed to be involved, but ties with several international contractors have been identified. The financing of the venture has been traced to a US-based corporation. You can expect to be contacted by them soon. They will possibly hire an actor to communicate with you through a video. This video is designed to gauge your interest in interpreting patterns. 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 And solving puzzles. 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 Because of the metaphysical aspects related to the project, they may also want to test your receptiveness to unconventional concepts. To gain your trust, this person might offer their unsolicited advice or ask you questions about your dreams and memories, but you will likely never see the face of the person speaking. My personal advice is not to play along with their strange game. You're being led around in a maze of deceptions. Think back on when they first tried to contact you. Do you remember? Do you remember the maze? 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 Do you remember the maze?
小さい頃に兄と一緒に山に登ってたっていう記憶がすごい強くて結構自然と多く触れ合っていた子供時代だったと思います三橋明ですひろこと一緒にこの「丸三つゲームズ」をやっています。マルミツゲームスでアーティストをしている椎野ひろこです<笑>ひろことは福岡にあるゲーム会社で出会いました実は言うとですねまあ一回告白したんですけどもまあ一度振られましてゲーム開発の仕事がすごく楽しかったからなんかあんまりそういったことに時間を取られたくないなっていうのがすごく強くてで二回目アタックした時にいいよって言われたんで今こうして結婚してよかったなと思います好きな RPG はあのマザー2というゲームなんですけれども可愛くてコロッとした街づくりとか色合いとかを表現されているのでそれもすごく見て憧れを抱いたしすごく影響を受けていると思います自分一人でもゲーム作れるんじゃないかなっていう好奇心みたいなのが湧いてきましてもうほぼ同時に一緒に会社を辞めましたでもやっぱり夫婦関係に影響が出ないようなまあスタイルを取りたいという話であの1本目はもう半年で2人で作ってみるでそれで問題がなかったら続けてみようっていうあの条件のもとで「丸三つゲームスは、えっと、スタートをしています今回の作品はルトガー・ブレグマンという方やヒバルーノワ・ハリリさんの「人類の未来」について書かれている著書をものすごく参考にしています。でもしかしたら本当に来るかもしれないっていうような未来を想定したあの作品になっていて楽園って呼ばれている未来で日々を過ごすゲームです私たちにとってはすごくこう身近な問題定義だなっていうふうに思っています今回のプロジェクトは C のの企画になりますので C の指導で作っていますなので僕は C のが悩んでるところを一緒に話になっていろんなアイデアを出したりとかしています仕事でさ結構悩んでた時とかもあってでもなんか今の2人で一緒に仕事してる時に、まあ、隣の姿とか見てるとそれはそれですごい、うん、なんか独立してよかったなって思ってるよほとんど後悔もなく楽しくやれてるのでよかったなって思ってます Hello, I'm Richard Hogg, and I'm one of the people who made Flock. I'm the art guy. And I'm Pip War. I do the narrative design and some game design. So, where are you, Pip? I'll do a call. Ah, there you are. I'm coming over. Flock is a game about exploring a big wild place on the back of a bird. 
you find creatures, you charm them, and they join your flock. It's also a game where you can just hang out with your friends. Pip, you've got loads in your flock. The boomerang ones are the Cosmits. I have a few varieties. Then I have a Thrip and a Big Henry. He's the one that looks kind of like a cross between a cuttlefish and a sausage. What's that blue creature you've got in your flock? Ah, that's a slumbering rustic. We can go and find one if you like. So we're taking Pip across the grasslands to find her a slumbering rustic for her flock. There's one in here. Can you hear it? It's snoring. Over by this pond in this little cup. I'll have to move slowly so I don't spook it. Maybe we shouldn't wake it up, but... I'm going to charm it. To charm this rustic, Pip has to position herself at just the right distance from it. Not too close or too far away. And her bird and the flock will sing to the creature to charm it. Look at that. I'm going to call her Cupzilla. Pip, check out my sheep. Look at them, little munchers. In flock, you have some flying sheep to look after. You leave them to graze, they get woolly, and then you use the wool to make clothes. Did I tell you I made a sheep? I crocheted it. Oh, I love it. Look, 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 look. I found one of the fruit things. Oh, yeah. I'm going to charm one. Here we go. It's a sunset sprug. We didn't find it because it wasn't sunset last time. We were looking in broad daylight. I love these frogmouth glebes. They just scream in such a pleasing way. Can you see me over here? Oh, yeah, look at that. Whoosh. I've got my glow buddies with me. This forest is beautiful at this time of day. I really like when you're skimming over the top of the fog and you're sort of going up and down like you're on the high seas. Oh, wow. Have you seen these before? No. It's a mother and her little calf. They're singing. Let's join in. <laughs> this has been such a lovely day. Let's do it again soon. Flock, what will you find out there? Basically every day, if I've hit like a roadblock or if I just need some sort of inspiration to kind of like move on with something, I'll just hop in my car and drive like five minutes over to, to Roger Williams Park. Having like no literal walls, I, I feel like I'm able to think in like a lot more abstract ways. I'm Jacob Williams. I'm the head and creative director of Glass Revolver and we're making We Kill Monsters. I've always been drawn to kind of the outdoors and, and nature in general, the reasons why like certain aspects of nature are the way they are. 
That had definitely carried over into my first game, Ida, and extremely so in We Kill Monsters. I'd be like sitting like outside the school, like waiting like for my mom to come pick me up. And I would just constantly like sketch um, an open world game where you could like camp and stuff. You can camp in, in We Kill Monsters. It's like a core part of the game. Um, so a lot of those things kind of stuck, uh, stuck with me. I went to film school doing like the nine to five and then coming home and then doing another, you know, five, six hours of film related stuff. Eventually, uh, it just became apparent that I was depressed. I realized I was like, something, you know, needs to change. Like I can't, I can't keep doing this. Okay, well, I'm gonna just basically do like a restart on my adult life. So I moved back home and it was there where I started Ida. This is Ida, this is the, my first game that I had made which honestly probably shares like a lot of DNA with We Kill Monsters. It was probably 2018, I think, where I actually started on We Kill Monsters. But at the time, it was supposed to be an extremely lo-fi Monster Hunter style game. And then at some point, I just, I was like, everything I'm trying to do, I could just do it in 3D and it would like just more fully realize what I'm kind of envisioning in my head. Most people, rightfully so, were like, you've been working on this game for a very long time. You shouldn't just switch it to 3D. You're basically just starting over. I didn't want to work on the 3D version for like three months and be like, oh, okay, this is like too much and like go back to the 2D version. So I kind of like uh, thought about it for like a week. Um, and then uh, to make my decision, I, I went and I deleted the 2D project so that I didn't have a choice. My thought process was if it takes, you know, eight years to make, I'll just do it on my own. Might as well just do what I think is best. This symbol, it's basically made its way into all of my games. The meaning to me is, uh, you know, it's okay to restart. I'm Ben Ruiz, the founder and creative director of Dino God and the designer of Bounty Star. Bounty Star is a game about a broken but powerful ex-soldier, now a bounty hunter, in a post-post-apocalyptic American desert. Her name is Clem, and she's trying to start a new life in a place far from home, traumatized from a profound mistake she made at the end of her military career. One half of the gameplay experience is a third-person action game shooting mechanics in which Clem is bringing in her marks, dead or alive, in her customizable infantry mech. Throughout the experience, the players will obtain all kinds of exciting mech weaponry and utilities and use them against increasingly bigger and badder foes. In the other half of the gameplay experience, the protagonist cleans up her life and develops her bounty hunting operation in the safety of her newly acquired home on the edge of the game world a rundown pre-apocalypse gas station and tune-up shop with a lot of potential. The player will learn how to be an effective bounty hunter in this scarce and dangerous world in which self-sustaining ways of life are absolutely vital. She will grow and obtain food and use it to cook meals that enhance her focus in different ways. She will obtain scraps and crafting materials and use them to build devices that enhance both her personal and combat endeavors. She will befriend and be visited by all manner of characters, all of whom are playing an important role in her current phase of life. Bounty Star is ultimately about a human pushing out inner demons, 
rebuilding herself and her personal environment, and relearning what it's like to be a force for good in a place that very badly needs it. As a gameplay experience, it is all about engaging, fun, modern action mechanics that many types of players will be able to enjoy, but not without being challenged. Thanks so much for watching. Bounty Star's coming in early 2024. Still think it's a good idea to go home? They all hate you, Jala. Can you blame them? You're way too stubborn to just give up. Dad, stop being so sensible. Timber Hills, our hometown. Full of gossiping aunties, parental expectations, and your past mistakes. Hope you're ready for some long-delayed emotional catharsis. Because your exes are looking for revenge. Or maybe a date. Are we flirting or are we fighting? Why not both? Her thighs, they're so powerful. So, I have to make up with my first love, find out what's going on with the creepy skate cult run by a bear mascot win my mother's approval, and track down my sister who's avoiding me, all before the most dangerous battle of all. My mother is coming to Timber Hills. The women in your family, they're all terrifying. I'm doomed. My advice to you, Jala, die now. Acceptable effort. Welcome back to Storyteller. Our next chapter brings a free update with all new content. Welcome new characters into the fold. Some full of mischief. Some warm the heart. Puzzle through new scenarios with new challenges. And while you're at it, add a little chaos into the mix. Explore the possibilities. Unleash your imagination. And it's all coming to Netflix.
rejoice. Storyteller. Our all new update is coming September 26. Hey everyone, my name is Chelsea Hash and I've worked alongside Annapurna for a long time, starting with What Remains of Edith Finch and later Solar Ash, and now as director of Annapurna's first internally developed game. Over the past year, we've put together a wonderful group of people and have been collaborating on an exciting new project. I never imagined I'd have a chance to make a game set in this iconic universe, and there's so much more we want to tell you. But for now, we're thrilled to share this announcement trailer. Take a look. Lots of people lost things in the blackout. I was lucky. I just lost a job. But now, they want me back. Thanks again for tuning in to watch this year's Annapurna Interactive Showcase. We hope you enjoyed a glimpse of what's in store. See you all next year.